four day tramp. It's gonna be a good time. Don't think you can quite beat a view like this. Mountain goat scrambling along the edge of this ridge here. Nothing like a nice little wee hill climb to start the day. As long as I don't trip and fall down the ridge, we'll be all good. Good morning guys, currently heading into Richmond Forest Park here in Nelson in the South Island doing a four day tramp, it's going to be a good time. Currently heading along the outside of the pest proof fence which goes around the whole bird sanctuary here. So uh, yeah, quite a lot of bird life which is Real nice to hear while I'm hiking. The weather is flipping fantastic today. Beautiful blue skies. It's not too hot. It's real good temperature here in the shade. Birds are chirping. It's not windy. There's no rain on the forecast. It's going to be a good couple of days. I'm looking forward to it. So this behind me is third house shelter. Apparently, just reading the sign, you're not allowed to camp here, but you are allowed fires, so, I mean, that's kind of cool, you could come here and cook up a fire, cook up um, some food in the fireplace there. There's also another one around the back, but yeah, it's a cool little shelter. Just stopped and had a quick break, and gonna be continuing on in a minute. Back of my heels really hurting. So just gonna check it, see if we have a blister. Yeah. Something developing there. All fixed up now. Time to get back on the boot, back on the trail. Walking through here, it's absolutely stunning. Heaps of rocks and boulders, makes a real cool landscape with all the trees scrambling all over them. And, oh man, this is beautiful. So 
to that sign back there that's just marking the start of um windy point i think it's called along this section of the trail so it's a bit more exposed but pretty nice weather today so don't think it'll be too bad I don't think you can quite beat a view like this. Awesome. kilometers to Dun Saddle, which is where I'm heading. Oh, it's awesome up here. Nature's calling. Alright, so just got to the end of the copper mine saddle. Now we're heading across the Dun Mountain saddle. Um, and yeah, I just stopped for a quick break and toilet. Yeah, I've got probably about an hour and a half or so to go to Rock's Hut, so I'll just have a late lunch. Yeah, this blister is also annoying me. Hopefully, I'll get it sorted and it'll be alright for tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, you don't get much better than this. Pretty epic. Really loving it up here. Weather's just superb, can't complain at all. Yep. But really looking forward to the next couple of days as well. Possum poop. landscape is just incredible I've never been in anything like this uh, I was reading the sign up there and this is all part of um, a mineral belt 
that runs from Dierval Island down to somewhere down south, I can't remember where. But yeah, it's a real harsh landscape that not many native plants can actually survive on. So yeah, all these plants here are pretty hardy and adapted to this environment to be able to survive up here. This environment is also home. How many times am I going to say environment? Anyway, uh, it's also home to the giant snail. I doubt I'll see one, but it would be real epic if I did. Made it to Rock's Hut. This is where I'll be staying for the night. Time to get this blister sorted and have a late lunch. Alright, so we're here at Rock's Hut. Tomorrow, we'll go call into Midge's Creek Hut and work our way down to Roebuck Hut where I'll be staying the night. From there, we'll then go to Browning's Hut and then the next day, we'll go out past Rock's Hut, out and out. Good morning guys, just left Rock's Hut on my way to uh, Middy's, Middy's Creek Hut um, and I'll probably stop there for a little bit but then after that I will be heading to Roebuck Hut which is where I plan on staying the night so not a huge hike today but still decent enough it's about five kilometers to Middies Creek Hut from Rock's Hut and I'm not quite sure from there to Roebuck but I'll keep you updated if and when I find out but uh, yeah, another gorgeous morning birds are chirping sun's out beautiful blue sky and uh, yeah it's going to be another good day Done the warm up, so time to strip a layer. All right, and off we go.
Alright, so we've got 30 minutes to Middy's hut, which is where I will uh, stop and have some lunch probably. And then we'll be coming back up here to then go to Roebuck, which is where I'll be staying the night. I do not want to drop my camera right now. Um, yeah, it's actually quite nice up here. This is Maddie's hut behind me. I'm going to stop and just have some lunch and then get back on the trail to Roebuck Hut, which is 7.5 kilometers away. Feel like a mountain goat scrambling along the edge of this ridge here. Just gotta watch where I put my feet. Had a couple of close calls, a couple of trips, but haven't fallen off the side yet, so that's a bonus.
All right, guys, so we made it to Roebuck Hut. That's about 13.5 kilometers today, I think. So, you know, not bad. Not a whole heap, but decent enough, I guess. It's nine kilometers to Browning Hut, so it's going to be a chill as day tomorrow. I'll probably hang around here for a bit, take my time, just enjoy it. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, I could boost over there now if I really want to, but I've got a flipping blister on the back of my heel, which has been killing me all day, and I'm just enjoying taking my time. So, yeah, I'm going to keep doing that, and uh, we'll be in the bush for tonight and tomorrow night. Last day will be a little bit of a slog, but it'll be good. Glad I brought my bug spray because the sand flies are biting and it's not fun. Alright, guys, so I thought I'd just give you a quick hut tour. Um, there's not a whole lot outside here, there is quite a bit of firewood and leather and some other bits and bobs underneath. But um, yeah, that's, that's really all that's outside. Up the step here, there's like a little lobby or mud room kind of thing. With, you know, some bits and bobs, a couple of things hanging up. And then into the hut. Feel free, yes. All right, so just had to save the bumblebee real quick. Anyway, inside the hut here we've got this stainless steel bench with the um, intentions book, so I'll fill it out soon. Little little loft up there, oh can't see, little loft up there, um, seems to be a bunch of bits and bobs up there, and then you know, normal, oh man, normal clean stuff and ash bucket and stuff, uh, fireplace, my bag and then bunks, there's a drying rack, which you can't see. This is the worst tour ever. Drying rack, bunks, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the hut tour. I knew my pen would come in handy. Oh, uh, what's the date? 25th? So there's a couple of people saying there's a cat at the hut. Well, well, I've also seen that cat, except uh, it's not alive. So yeah, a bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, there's nothing I could do. It was dead before, long before I got here.
Alright, so I couldn't help myself. Grabbed some bits of what I believe to be as quartz from the riverbed. And I'm just gonna try it out. Got my silky gone boy here. There we go. Now I know there's plenty of uh, firewood in the hut and underneath it, but I want there to be some for the next person, so I um, found this dead, I think it's a beach, it was dead standing, pulled it out, uh, that's the root ball, I just pulled it out of the ground, and uh, yeah, now I've got plenty of firewood. Fire's cranking, got some water on the boil for dinner, and uh, yeah, looking forward to just having the hut to myself, to be honest. It's quite nice, and uh, yeah, I really like this hut. It's, um, it's a neat little hut in a great location. You've got the river right down there, big, big river bed as well, and it's real nice. I'm quite enjoying it. Cheers guys. Another lovely morning, a little bit chilly, but not too bad. My feet are a bit cold, but that's because I'm in bare feet. Last night, I couldn't go to sleep for a while, purely because that fire just got so hot, I was sweating. Like, I had to open the door and just go walk outside 
it was way too warm in there. Eventually it died down and it was all good, but yeah, way too warm. I came down there last night when it was dark. Uh, see if I could spot like any eels or anything. Unfortunately, no luck. But uh, yeah, I had to get out of the hut because it was too goddamn hot in there. All right, hut's all clean. Got firewood as well and uh, we're all set, ready to go. So I'm um, heading off towards the two swing bridges and then we've got about nine kilometers until uh, Browning Hut. So easy as walk today. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be good. Nothing like a nice real wee hill climb to start the day.
there is a lot of down trees along this route and it just makes traversing the already sketchy terrain a wee bit more sketchy but no worries it's all part of the fun as long as I don't trip and fall down the ridge we'll be all good Just stopped and had a light lunch back on the trail now and I'll probably cook something up later at the hut. We'll see though, see how I feel. Made it to Brownie's hut. Got the fire going, it's gonna be a good night. It's seven o'clock and I've just left Browning Hut. As far as dock times go, five hours to Rock's Hut and then another five and a half to my destination or where I finish my hike. Plus also 45 minutes because I want to go up to the top of Dun Mountain as well. I've also been warned that, warned by uh, some other hikers that were at the hut last night that between here and Rock's Hut, there's a lot of uphill. Just gonna focus on hiking and try, try and make good time. It's a gorgeous morning. Man, can't beat this. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. My legs are now soaked, coming up all through these ferns. They're all still wet from the morning dew and we did have rain last night actually, so. But uh, on the good news, we've got more to go.
So I was going to stop for a break soon. Just a quick one, but after walking through all those ferns, I'm actually pretty soaked and I'm a little chilly. My uh, hands and stuff are a little bit numb, so I just want to keep going, try to warm back up again, and um, have a break soon. But I think I'm making good time. Uh, yeah, I don't really know till, I, till we get to Rock's Hut. But anyway, just got to keep, keep on keeping on. That up there is Rock's Hut. Oh, I'm going to have a quick break here, carry on to the Dunn Saddle, and uh, stop and have lunch there. I think we made good time, I'll have a look in a second. Alright, took me 3 hours 50, and so I reckon 4 hours 30 for 11Ks, so not bad. Two hours to Dun Mountain, five and a half to Brook Street. That's where I'm headed. Well, we made it to the uh, saddle. Doing all right for time. So I'm going to stop here and have lunch. And then I'm debating whether or not to go up there. Um, yeah, the sign says 45 minutes. So I'll probably leave my pack down here and boost up there. Yeah, but I'm going to have lunch. I'm slipping hungry. Ugh. Alright, lunch is done. Now let's boost up there. <laughs> Thought I was near the top, but it turns out I still gotta go all the way. Over there. Alright, so behind me that's Dun Hut, and then up there is the summit, so I'm heading up there now. Um, yeah, there's a cool little shower. <clears throat> anyway, gotta keep going. Alright, so I assume this is the top of Dun Mountain. Uh, there's not actually a sign, I was expecting a sign. And I'm just assuming this is the top because it's the tallest point. Um, the track continues down and it just goes down. Unless that's Dun Mountain there, but I don't think so. Because it said only 15 minutes from the shelter, so yeah, can't be can't be all the way over there. Um, yeah, this track continues on to another saddle somewhere. But I'm calling this the top and it's time to go back down. Yep. 
what would you call it, the top? Start the hike over to Brookshoot, which is about from here four and a half hours by dock times. Hoping to do it in less. So I have now just crossed Copper Mine Saddle and Windy Point and now I'm in the bush all the way to uh, Third House Third House Shelter. <sighs> yeah, just gotta keep going. Alright, made it to third house shelter, just having a quick water break. And then we're gonna smash the rest out all the way to Brook Street, which is where I finish. Um oh I'm not gonna lie, a bit tired. But it's pretty much all downhill, just following the pest proof fence all the way down. So yeah, a bit bland but Both heels are hurting now. I think I've uh, developed or am developing a blister on my left foot as well. Haven't stopped to check though. Just gonna keep marching on and I'll sort it out when I'm finished. All right, I can literally see the road from here, so that's the finish point. My feet are killing me. I need to get these boots off and check out my heels because they are sore. But anyway, it's been a great trip, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.